welcome. This is the energy of vibration reading for the Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this is the second week of July. Okay, this week is a water week. The energy is water, and the zodiac energy is going to be also water. Okay, so let's see what's coming up for you, Virgos. We have the energy of the hangman that is the energy of the week then we have the energy of uh, your the um the energy of uh, um the moon then we have the energy of the eight of one so um information will be coming in very very fast in this week okay so whatever is happening information is coming in very very fast then we have the energy on friday of um the eight of pentacles so there's going to be a lot of work going on in the weekend we have the energy of the princess of cups and in the on sunday we have temperance and balance okay so your outcomes for the week is the energy of um, the four of cups uh, energy of the four of cups is a, a, a wonderful energy because it is as if you're planning your next move you're planning your next move and this next move that you're planning um, you are going to be looking at what is uh, happening okay so as I look at this week, what is um, transpiring is that there is going to be a lot of uh, um, situations happening in this week for you guys, okay? Because um, Monday is going to be an emotional day where you're trying to find your true inner light. Tuesday is as if um, the um, your enemies and that sort of a thing is trying to reach you, but they can't. There's a lot of messages that is going to be coming in. Um, and um, on uh, um, Thursday, and it doesn't have to be Thursday, but it can be in sometimes in a week uh, that you could be getting a lot of uh, messages from someone who is um, a uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Okay. Um, as we look in this week, some of you have to deal with the Princess of Cups. Who is this Princess of Cups? She is um, someone who has been working against you and um, it's as if there is a lot of gossip because um, it could be that you you have befold your enemies and there's a lot of gossip and this Princess of Cups could be the person who has been doing this gossip and this sort of a thing. So some of you will be working hard. Some of you will be working to um, um, protect yourself from this um, Queen of Cups, whoever she is. And some of you in the weekend is trying to find balance with this person. So as we look at the beginning of the week, there is, you know, you looking within and trying to balance out certain situation. In the middle of the week, you will have the energy where some of you are protecting yourself from whoever this person is. Um, this person is between the ages of 25 and 40 and she is a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpion. So let's see what is the energy of the hangman and the moon is saying. The energy of the hangman and the moon is that you need to find inner peace and balance, inner peace and balance. Temperance is here twice, so it's a week where you're going to be finding a balance for yourself, okay? We have the energy of the Eight of Wands and the Prince of Swords. What is that all about? It's all about the information of money coming to you. So some of you could be realizing that whoever this person is, is need to pay out some money to you. And there is information, there is singer that is coming to you. The Eight of Pentacles and the, um, the Princess of Cups. Let's see. What is happening is the energy of the emperor, the energy of the hemper. Okay, so I'm hoping that you guys can see 
this last energy that comes out because it's uh, um, the energy of the emperor that is happening here which this is um, letting you know that there are situations that is about to happen in your life and um, whoever this person is it's as if he needs to pay you some money okay it's as if he's um, trying to um, fade out the thing so that he doesn't has to pay but he needs to pay you okay who is this um, princess of cups and why do you need to find balance because obviously this is someone some of you are in a relationship with whoever this queen of cups is the energy of the tower comes so that means this person has no um, um, uh, she has no old on you anymore whoever the queen of cups is she has basically no old on you anymore because whatever the situation is and whatever that was happening um you're seeing that it's coming to an end all of this situation where um it's it's coming to an end because obviously someone who was supposed to um pay out um some money and that sort of a thing uh, the money is going to be coming in okay the money is basically going to be coming in um, some of you need to find inner strength because whoever this um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, well, um, young lady is, it could be your daughter. Because I'm seeing this coming up as some of your daughters. Um, is it if or is someone you're working with on the work floor? But whoever this person is, there's coming an end to their reigning, and this is good because sometimes there are people who think that. Um, you know they can do anything and get away with anything we have the energy of attracting not chasing okay so we're using the angels of attracting not chasing and what this is saying for you is that um, try to attract abundance in your life and don't chase it away because sometimes people come in our lives to um, lead us on the right part and we're not seeing that and we will um, move away from these people but actually they came in for a reason and that reason is to help you out so this is really a positive positive energy that is going to be coming in in this week for you guys so remember to listen go back and listen to the monthly reading and uh, um, the energy of uh, Go back and listen to the monthly reading and the energy of positive um, information that is coming in. Expect to receive uh, some money um, in this week. It's, uh, it's as if it's a payout, a payout that was supposed to be done. Some of you could be working um, with this uh, Princess of Cups, but whatever the situation is, um, be aligned with the positive energy and know that um, you are going to be surviving whatever is going on okay so i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back namaste until next time